welcome to Jimmy Kimmel Live. I am your guest host, Carrie Washington, outside once again in the summer heat. I had a great time hosting last night and I am very excited to be here again. Although, in the three seconds since the show started, I have been bitten by approximately 600 mosquitoes. <laughs> last night, I had a great joke, coach, slash sidekick with my dad, Earl Washington. But Jimmy Kimmel has an amazing sidekick of his own, and I have him here with me tonight. Hey, Guillermo, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, Guillermo. You know, I try to clean up for you always. Thank you very much. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, you know, I am the 13th guest host so far this summer. So, honestly, where do I rank? From the bottom of my heart, you're number one. You're the best. Number one! That's right. Woo! Number one. Thank you. You know, Guillermo, for your sake, I really hope that Billy Eichner does not see this. <laughs> no, I think he's on vacation. Good. So I have to be honest. I was nervous that that wouldn't be your answer because there have been some amazing guest hosts this summer. So I wanted to start tonight with something that everybody loves, something completely undeniable, cute internet babies. I have no idea who these newborn twins are, but I love them from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I love that face. It's like me when I walk by anyone who's not wearing a mask. That clip is actually perfect because there is scientific proof that babies develop the ability to give side eye at two months old. Speaking of side eye, have you been following what's going on with the US Postal Service? It is almost unbelievable. I'm gonna get into it tonight with my guest, the amazing Stacey Abrams, but I know many of you wanna help the Postal Service now, but you don't know how. So here's the thing. In moments of crisis, people come to me because they think that I am really Olivia Pope. I am not a crisis manager, but I did do a little research on three simple things you can do today to support the Postal Service. So here we go. Number one, buy a lot of stamps. I bought so many stamps this weekend, I think I could send a jet ski to the Ukraine. I don't know why I would do that, but I could. Number two, call your representatives in the House and the Senate at the number on your screen. Say how important it is for them to support the Postal Service during this critical time. Take a screenshot right now before we change the Chiron. Okay, number three, tune in to the DNC, the Democratic National Convention, this week to learn about leaders who believe that everyone should be able to vote. Imagine that, even people who vote by mail. Speaking of voting, today marks the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which gave women in America the right to vote. It wasn't easy. Women really had to fight for the right to vote, as did black people in this country, as did young people. It used to be that you had to be 21 to vote. Voting is one of our most sacred duties in this country, and it's important to start talking about it early. So. I chatted with some kids to see what they know about our electoral process. This is what they had to say. Do you know what voting is? Uh, yeah, but I don't know how to do it. Do you like go out into the street and just scream it like, this is who I want to be president, and then that counts as voting? Uh, maybe you go inside the White House and say it? Oh, like every person goes inside the White House. Yeah. Do you think you're old enough to vote? Actually, I think I voted before. I don't know. I'll have to tell my mom. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Do you think that people who are missing their front teeth should be allowed to vote? Yes. <laughs> I lost my front teeth and I'm voting right now. So how much does it cost to vote? $50? Like $100 or $200? $2,000? $2,000? $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, dollars a vote? To vote. Got it. Do you know what a president is? It's like somebody that 
like owns the state. That sounds a little bit authoritarian. Uh huh. They own the state. Do you know who our current president is? Yeah, it's Donald Trump. He's kind of handling things out of control because he wants people to go to school, but a lot of people are getting sick. All I know is that he's going nuts. Does Trump do bad things? Kind of. Like what? Like lying? President Trump. Yeah, what do you think of him? Alien. <laughs> So let's say that four years ago you voted for Cookie Monster because you thought that Cookie Monster would be a good president. And then when he got to the White House, all he did all day was eat cookies, which in fairness, you should have known because his name is Cookie Monster. But now he's saying that he wants to run for president again and be Cookie Monster for president. Would you vote for him for a second term? No, I would choose someone else. Like Khalid or Justin Bieber. What's the worst thing that the president has done? I heard that the president canceled TikTok. You did? What do you think about that? Do you think that's the thing? Well, I think he doesn't like to have fun. Do you know that we've never had a woman president before, ever? You know, a hundred years ago, women weren't allowed to vote. Did you know that? Uh, women were not allowed on votes? No, women were not allowed to vote. What? Do you know who's running for president? No. There's a man named Joe Biden, and the person running for vice president is like us. She's got a lot of black girl magic. Her name is Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. I like magic. What kinds of magic do you like? Bippity boppity boo. Make her disappear. <gasps> she disappeared. Where is she? Tonight's show is filled with black girl magic. We have music from Chloe and Hallie, and we'll be right back with Stacey Abrams.